catch Inside Edition tonight at 7 right here on Channel 13. Anchor Deborah Norville is previewing some of the stories that you will see this week, and they are fascinating. Good morning, Deborah. Hi, JJ. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Uh, first off, a drunk dentist. Yes, and that's going to be on Inside Edition today. And this story is absolutely riveting, uh, not least because a lot of people, uh, yours truly included, have a little bit of fear of going to the dentist. Ooh. And this story is maybe not going to help. Uh, this is a, a just a regular person with perfect teeth, so she probably has no problem with the dentist. This is the <laughs> dentist we're talking about, though, um, working on our undercover producer. And he was working on another patient who realized, oh my goodness, this man is drunk. And she literally called 911 and said, he's drunker than a skunk. You need to get somebody here, which in fact they did. And he later pled guilty to an alcohol-related charge and lost his license to practice dentistry. Um, how big of a problem is this? Substance abuse among dentists pretty much mirrors substance abuse among the regular population, which means anywhere between 10 and 15 percent of dental professionals are dealing with the substance abuse, abuse problem. And one of the challenges is they've got access to stuff a lot more easily than somebody else. So in the case of this dentist, the woman said, oh my gosh, he's drunk. In another instance, he actually was spotted hooked up to the laughing gas, the nitri <gasps> nitrous oxide. He has subsequently gone through rehab. He has subsequently regained his license, but it really underscores that giant question, which is how can I be sure that the dental professional I'm being served by is you know, stone cold well, sober and not me walking right? drunk. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, we sit down yeah. in that chair and we really put our trust in that person. Scary stuff. This next story is pretty crazy as well, Deborah. A woman supposedly posing as a little girl. What happened here? Well, that's been the allegation, and the little girl's name not Natalia, and Natalia came here as a small child from Ukraine, and her mother gave her up for adoption because she suffers from a form of dwarfism, and she said she'll have more opportunities here. So she was adopted by a couple who later, here's the adopted parents, said, oh, she's not a little girl. Well, these people say, oh, yes, she is. They tried to adopt her. Um, before the other couple, but it got bogged down in red tape and paperwork. But they have paperwork that they say proves Natalia is a child. She mm. is a little girl, and they're very upset that she was, they say, not well treated by the couple who adopted her. Oh, it's a fascinating story. Uh, hey, before we go, congrats on your latest book, Think Positive, Live Happy. It's part of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. Uh, you've co-authored this you. book. You know, Deborah, I follow you on Instagram and Twitter, and you're always sharing, you know, parts of your real life with viewers. Um, and and this book really continues, is, is like resources other people's positive stories. But uh, it must have been really exciting for you to collect all these bits of wisdom. It was so uplifting because it's really crazy. Amy Newmark and I both, um, she's the co-author co with me, uh, Think Positive, Live Happy. We both got cancer diagnoses while we were dealing with this. Mine was thyroid cancer. It's been dealt with fine, no chemo. She had a form of fallopian cancer. And so to be working on material that was so positive and so uplifting when we were both going through this kind of scary medical mm. thing, Honestly, we've both had great outcomes. We'd like to think that the chicken soup book was a factor in that. Um, <laughs> good doctors also helped. But, but it is. It's 101 stories that no matter where you come from, no matter what's going on in your life, there's something in there that's just going to lift you up. And let's yep. face it, it's kind of a cranky time in America right now. We oh. all need a little bit of a boost. Yeah. Had you noticed that uh, people are a bit cranky right now? But <laughs> thanks for keeping it I positive. I should send a Deborah. thank you note to Washington. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. So thrilled that you're in good health as well. Um, and very impressed Thank with you how you've much. cut sugar out of your diet. That's quite admirable as well. Again, catch Inside Edition all new tonight at 7, right after 13 Action News Live at 630.